it's funny how artists are often known for their character to inspire people to understand and get behind their art you know mm. like you can have an artist that's renowned for their art and known for their art but then there are artists who are sought out for the myths and legends that surround their name yeah i mean picasso pablo, pablo picasso was supposed to be infamous um but also i think um van gogh he's probably the greatest example of that because he was some kind of schizophrenic nut job who painted in an insane asylum you know most of his time was spent in in an insane asylum and he was famous for cutting off his ear and presenting it to his love as um a token of love because and, and he got that tradition because the bullfighters would cut the ears off the bull and give it to the um you know the girl they fancied in the town mm -hmm. and he was like i'm gonna cut my own ear off and give it to this girl then she'll love you know then she'll love me and then yeah. they put the ribbon and sailor sign him i mean it's quite sad really because of course he, he didn't really know well it's a question but he, he never really got famous off his art when he was alive it was only once he was dead yeah because people saw the myth and the legend i'm thinking uh terry davis as a great example because he made the computer system that we will never use um that will never um be part of the canon of computing it's a real side issue it's not you know he's a brilliant genius uh and anyone in coding couldn't deny that no one in coding could deny that he was a genius um but he didn't make something that was like like everyone loves and uses or something um regardless the legend and myth that surrounds his name and his words and such make him a legend and a hero and the other one's wyndham lewis wyndham lewis has an art style that I never would have taken any interest in with my political mm. philosophies. You know, like modern art, like he does modern art. Fuck off. You know, not a yeah. chance would I be interested in Wyndham Lewis. But yeah, he, not my cup of tea. He, in his thought process and um, his genius, has made me completely change my idea of art. Um, from his thoughts, and that's made me appreciate his art because um, part of the message, I guess, is all of this art being relegated to the past, this Renaissance art, this classic art that's incredible, you know, is being disprivileged and, and thrown away by the modern types. We who have an admiration for this stuff and the aristocratic sensibilities that go along with it need to take on the extra challenge, not only of making great art, but making great modern art that won't be relegated to the past, that takes grip of not only those aristocrats with the right sensibilities, but can fire up and bring hope and vision to the modern mind a side example maybe uh william blake and it's not quite in his um thought process that brings the attention but that one painting that he did of newton at the bottom of the ocean looking down at his um his equations and missing the bigger picture that mm. is such a powerful statement uh, of an intellectual statement hidden in an art piece and then you've got to think okay this is a mind i want to know why they paint and what motivates them and you know what their other paintings are about what am i missing when i look at the work of william blake because there's something going on in his head at that time that is impressive he managed to get it out there in that way it's like it's not known for the legend or known to me anyway but known for the message that he could pack into his art. It's the philosopher that um, came first, the myth, the legend, and then 
you can really appreciate the art.